has been described by many as a very ambitious plan. But the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan is essentially a medium-term plan designed to rejuvenate the Nigerian economy and get it moving on the right track. The scope of the plan ranges from 2017 to 2020, but if well implemented, it could become the template for future economic plans. Among others, the 140-page document targets to ramp up oil production to 2.5 million barrels per day by 2020, while also aiming to increase local refining capacity and stop the importation of refined petroleum products. It also targets a GDP growth rate of 7% by 2020 and a market-driven exchange rate regime by aligning both monetary and fiscal policies. VAT on luxury items will go up from 5% to 15% beginning from next year. We want to do two broad things. One is to restore oil production and harvest what we can get from that sector. But diversify by making the economy competitive so that we will grow agriculture, we will grow uh, our manufacturing, you know, we will have value added in Nigeria, we will move from a consuming to a producing nation. Virtually everyone has praised the plan as far-reaching, but the greatest concern many are expressing is whether the government can actually stick to it and ensure its implementation. We need to be more faithful, we need to be more, 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 more dogged and we need to be more committed in the area of implementation. So if the document as it is can be implemented like somebody said a few days ago, that we can implement even 50% of what is proposed in that recovery plan, Nigeria will be on top of the world. To show how serious it is with implementation, the plan provides for a delivery unit which will be set up with the sole task of supervising the implementation and government ministers will be given clear objectives. International and continental lenders like the World Bank and the Africa Development Bank have always maintained that they need this plan as a precondition in considering Nigeria's loan request. The AFDB, for instance, has been holding on to the second tranche of loan meant for Nigeria, demanding the plan before the full disbursement. It's now left to be seen if the recovery and growth plan is persuasive enough to move the lenders to grant Nigeria the loans it seeks. Deji Badmos, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.